Hey, 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 you crazy bastards! I want to talk about the middle, and more importantly, how musicians place themselves in the middle. What I mean by the middle is the same thing as everyone else does, the safe stuff. I would call the safe zone the danger zone. Highway to the danger zone. Shut up. And while the danger zone was awesome in a 1986 film about a pilot who was inverted, pretty shit being a musician in the safe zone because you are literally up against everybody in that competitive field. You see this quite regularly with guys who want to get in a session playing, they'll buy a black shirt and they'll make a video of themselves playing funk because that's what they think everybody wants to hear is, is someone playing funk. And, and while that is kind of the case, there's just too many people doing it. So why not think about some niche? Why not think about stepping outside of the middle? Everybody hates the middle lane drivers. Something that you can do that self sets yourself apart against everybody else. Get a KFC bucket, put it on your head, and I hope, oh no, it's been done. One of those things, and you're not gonna like this, one of those things is sight reading. Now, the reason why I don't like it is because not many people can do it, it's very, very difficult, but no one does it. It's such a niche market. Yes, it'll take you time to learn, but if you can properly read music, I'm not talking about charts, I'm not talking about a little bit of notation, I mean properly sight read, like you can read English or, you know, like a language. I wish I'd learn to sight read. I wish you'd learn to just read. That could be the difference between a long sustained career with no gaps whatsoever, or just a bit of work here and there. If you think about your career as a 50 year span, from when you're 20 to when you're 70. Taking a year out to learn to sight read, it's no big deal. So, think about the middle, think about how you can step outside of the middle, think about how you can get your niche, how you can be awesome at one thing. It doesn't matter whether it's slap bass playing or double bass drum pedals or complete shred or jazz playing or improvisation, whatever it is, get your thing, make it a bit of a niche of yours. If you've got any ideas for this stepping outside niche, then I'd love to hear it, get in touch. Uh, it's uh, demo at dkmanagement.co.uk and uh, I look forward to seeing you soon, cheers.